president of L.A. Car Guy, and uh, now, Mike, you're surrounded by a couple of OEMs, but you're at the front lines. Tell us what's really going on there uh, as, you guys are, in between those two guys. <laughs> as you guys are selling great to cars. What's it really like? Um, my name is Mike Sullivan. I'm just a car guy, and uh, I've got uh, 10 car dealerships here in Los Angeles, uh, 800 employees to sell about 18,000 cars a year. And uh, probably the most interesting part for me is, is all three of my kids are in business with me. They're all late gen wires. So I live, work, and play with uh, 30 year olds. And uh, I think that, that's, that's been a, a great piece for me to keep me interested. The, uh, at Lexus and uh, at all of our stores, we really serve way to product specialists and extremely involved management teams. Um, that seems to be a, a comfortable place moving forward. At Lexus and Audi, in addition, we have technology specialists, and all of these people are predominantly paid uh, by salary, uh, pulling commissions away and, and getting closer and closer to a, a non-negotiating period. The, the, the tech piece has always been a, a, a tough sell. It's either a tough sell or worse. It's n just simply not a lot of interest. Think about a typical buyer, kind of an A to B driver, uh, a girl driving, she should probably be driving a Civic. She falls in love with a little bigger, nicer, perceived to be safer cord. Or they come in on a Prius and they come in on a leader, and pretty soon they're looking at the one with leather and moon, or what everybody wants a package, package two um, car. And so they're already <laughs> mildly stretched. And now you start to talk about a technology, and it's, um, it's, it, it, it really is a, a tough sell. Um, the luxury buyers, as, as Jason was mentioned, clearly expect it, um, but it's rarely a differentiator. Um, what my A8 has that is, is probably not going to differentiate enough from a BMW or an LS to make it a buying feature. So couldn't agree more. Luxury buyers expect it, want it, expect them to be included, and uh, but 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 clearly uh, that luxury buyer doesn't see it as an additional piece. If, uh, if, the, if the OEM doesn't build a simple system um, uh, that's, that's easy to use, and I always think of Ford as, as an example, they built that in sync system, and, and I don't think there's anything wrong with the system, but, but uh, they got killed in JD Power for not being, uh, uh, initial quality was damaged because it was, it was just hard to use. It didn't come out easy, and it wasn't um, perhaps like an iPhone. It wasn't just simple technology to use. So customers just simply got to see value in it, and that's, that's been a tough one. Um, in addition to that, there's a revolution going on in, the, in, in retail on, on the street with me. OEMs want big, pretty dealerships, they're expensive, uh, really is a branding statement for them, and Cafe and Carb really rules the day. What Cafe and Carb says and demands is really what's going to be sold in the next 20 years, and none of the technology that, that Cafe and Carb are, are pushing is inexpensive. Um, Hybrids, plug-in hybrids, battery only, clean diesels. Um, Jason will have a, uh, and Michael will have a hydrogen car coming up next. None of that is, is inexpensive, and it all keeps adding on. I've only got so many pitches in me on the floor that each of you will give me. I can talk about you know, service contracts or air conditioning or whatever it is, but I've got to be careful not to, to start and, and, and think that I have an unlimited piece, number of pieces that I can talk to you about. It starts to sound like an upsell. Um, imagine that. <laughs> Additionally, there's a revolution coming at, at, on the showrooms. Um, uh, transparency, um, uh, highly interactive digital social media, um, third-party providers uh, are, are certainly not adding margins to our business. Uh, now, at some point, you introduce a, a, an expensive technology piece, and as a package, it's a lot. If you itemize it, it's worse. And so there's, we're, we're absolutely, as, as great as the technology it is, and as much as we all talk about it, when it goes down to, you know, could I have leather and a sunroof, or that, and make it real simple, um, it's, it, it is simple. It is what people are choosing. So I'm thrilled with where we're going, but there's definitely a pushback at, at my level. Also, if we don't have a, 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 a seamless interactive system, it becomes incumbent upon me to, to retrain people two and three times. Uh, and, and, and clearly that becomes an issue. So um, I'm looking forward in the Q&A to talk about uh, um, uh, sharing cars, ride sharing, Tesla, um, all this technology, how technology gets kind of creepy sometimes and they start to know too much about you. Um, so I'll look forward to some Q&A. Thanks. <laughs> Good. Thank you.